Hey guys, I'm outside, and undoubtedly I will be interrupted by my girls at some point. And Muffin's out here, but he's buried himself in his leaves. But I have a question for you. How many of you like chocolate? Right? If you're like me, you're probably like, I love chocolate. Thank you, Jane. And Ava, I know you guys like chocolate too. And I know some of you are like, oh, I love chocolate. Go throw it away. What is it? Here. Just throw it on the ground. Anyway, it's just like class. I'm getting interrupted. I'm going to tell you how chocolate came about. And you might be thinking to yourself, what? Is this the history you talked about? You said you'd talk about conquistadors. Well, it just so happens we can love chocolate today because of one of our very famous conquistadors that we've learned about. Well, back in 1492, Christopher Columbus came to the New World. And he discovered this thing called a cocoa bean. And he thought, you know what, if people like it here in the Caribbean so much, I'm going to bring one bean back to the king. So he brought it back to King Ferdinand, and he gives him this cocoa bean, and guess what the king thinks? He's like, whatever, this isn't that important. And he throws it away. And so Columbus doesn't really know what to do. And years pass, and we come to another conquistador, Hernan Cortez. Recognize him? Not really a good guy, but while he was conquering the Aztecs, he found out that the rich Aztecs and the very important Aztecs love to make things out of cocoa. But the cocoa for the Aztecs, they didn't really have it very good and sweet. They would mix it with water, and it wouldn't taste very good. It would taste kind of bitter and yucky. Well... Hernan Cortez thought, well, if it's important to the Aztecs, you know what? It might be important to my king, and I could, you know, really impress him. So, he gets not one chest full of cocoa beans, but he gets three treasure chests full of these cocoa beans and brings them back to Spain. And they start to grow them. And the king of Spain is like, oh my gosh. If the Aztecs really like them, they must be important, and I'm important, so I really want these cocoa beans. So they start to grow them there. And well, wouldn't you know, it starts to spread. How people start thinking, oh, these cocoa beans are really good, we can start making stuff out of them. And so they start milk, making, mixing milk and sugar in with this cocoa bean. And they started to make chocolate. Instead of tasting bitter, it started to taste sweet. And more chocolate. inventors came along. And then they started to make chocolate milk. And drinks that tasted so good that it became so popular in Europe. They started making restaurants that served drinks made of chocolate. Just for that. And last, they found a way to take cocoa beans and turn them into cocoa powder and mix them with milk and sugar and to make the chocolate bars that we know today. So next time you eat a piece of chocolate or any cocoa product, you can remember, hey, I can eat this right now because Hernan Cortez conquered the Aztecs. See, he wasn't all that bad of a conquistador. Because now, we can have chocolate. Or maybe he's so evil that if we eat too much chocolate, we get cavities. <gasps> that must be it! What an evil conquistador!